What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the one and only Prince, the proof for Dosh, coming at y'all again with yet another video, man. On this lovely day, man. Um, I'm at the gym, y'all, as y'all can see, right? I'm getting ready. I'm getting, I'm getting amped up, right? And uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go, man. Um, for the train chest today, man. We always gotta have that big chest. You know, with, with the bigger the shape, the or the bigger the chest, the bigger the shape, right? So we always gotta accentuate that, right? <laughs> Y'all know, man, it's Body Game Nation, right? Like, Rom. I miss Rom. He ain't been on the camera in a minute. I ain't seen his face. Hopefully, Rom, I hope you're doing good out there, man. Um, hope you recover quickly. You know, hope you're in high spirits, man. And hope, hopefully, we can see you here soon. I've been seeing him on IG. So, man, shout out to Um. Right, Um. But today, I was um thinking about something that I wanted to cover, right? And this was on my mind when I first woke up today. Um, I was thinking about uh, the sexual instinct, right? Why why is it so hard to control? You know, um, and it, it's a, it's a problem amongst a lot of people. A lot of people, it, it's so hard for them to control the sexual instinct because of a lot of things, right? They don't know how it works. They don't. Un they they're, they're not understanding what's taking place that governs the sexual instinct. Like what drives you to, you know, um, act out on your lust or just anything to deal with the sexual instinct. A lot of people. They don't understand what's going on, right? And I'm not saying that I'm a person that got a full, total, broad understanding, a full, long spectrum of like what's going on, like what's the proper terms and everything. I'm just giving y'all some things I've learned and some of the things that I've kind of uh, 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 paid attention to, right? Because I'm, I'm a proponent for uh, celibacy, semen retention, brahmacharya, things that like that, those practices, right? Because I don't believe in just having. I don't believe in just having sex for no reason, right? Just because, right? I believe it should be a, a thing that should be actually genuine. Y'all should actually have a connection, right? And it should be a, a tool to use to help expand, uh, expand one's consciousness, right? Both men and women, right? To help to uh, rise in consciousness, right? Um, and, and, and get higher into the spiritual realm, right? Not just to have sex and ejaculate, right? So I'm more, so I'm more on the the, the, the the tantric side of things right um but um today i wanted to talk about um what what makes the sexual instinct so hard to deal with right um and the main thing is uh people don't understand that it's not your body just like like for men for example we have testosterone we have these hormones testosterone estrogen in our body right um and people think it's like ah oh, your hormones is your hormones is raging and you just getting hard out of nowhere and then you want to have sex. Like, it's not that, right? All your hormones and stuff are produced in your brain. Testosterone is produced in the brain. But that's not that's not what's driving you to want to have sex. What's driving you to want to have sex is your hypothalamus, your hypothalamus gland in your brain. That's what's driving you to want to have sex, right? It's, it, it, it deals with um, uh, your primitive sexual behavior, right? Um, and it shuts down the, uh, the prefrontal cortex in your brain, right? The prefrontal cortex is basically um, the, uh, um, what is it? I, I think it's the, uh, the prefrontal cortex in your brain, it, it's what governs um, like your logical, your logic mind, right? Like when you actually can think with your head, like whenever you, whenever you're thinking about having sex, um, it shuts that down, right? Your prefrontal cortex is shut down. And y'all, sorry, man. There's a there's a lot of people that's out here around uh, riding around in their cars doing weird, weird shit. So I'm I'm looking around. I'm kind of getting lost with my my train of thought. But your prefrontal cortex shuts down whenever you um are aroused or, or yes, when your sexual your sexual energy is arising, your arousal is, is growing. Your, your prefrontal cortex shuts down and um, your hypothalamus activates and it it sends signals via your nervous system throughout your body to want to have sex, right? Um, because all of these neurochemicals is um, taking place in your brain, right? To make you feel a certain way, right? So it's the brain, the brain telling the body to, to have sex. It's not the other way around. You know, you got dopamine. Y'all know about dopamine. Dopamine deals with uh, uh, sexual motivation, pleasure, um, uh, stuff like that. Um, then you got oxytocin, the binding hormone, right? To bring you closer to your partner. And then you got serotonin. It deals with your happiness, your peace, you know, your mood. That's serotonin, right? You got all these neurochemicals taking place with them. You know, it's like all magic happening 
inside your brain to make your body feel a certain way, right? So all of these things um, are produced, like dopamine is, is what makes you have that behavior. Of, uh, it, well, it creates the behavior, right? Uh, dopamine is like the addiction, the addiction hormone, right? Um, if you start something, like you build a pattern, you do it every day, that's dopamine. It's going the dopamine is, is going. Your brain is gonna link that with dopamine and make you continue to do that, right? It's gonna put you in that loop. Um, so yeah, um, sex, that's how your sexual instinct is governed. But what I wanted to really get into was uh, more so uh, like uh, uh, tantric practices, um, because just because that although that does take place. There's other things um, that you got to understand about the sexual energy and like what's going on, right? Um, because remember, I said it's, it's governed via the, the nervous system, right? The nervous system. Uh, there's there's this central telephone exchange thing, or the the place where your chakras are governed at the base of your spine. There's all your chakras from the, the root to the crown, the higher from the lower to the higher, right? Or from the logic mind, the spirit, and to the fleshly primitive nature, right? the energy travels through this right and the, the, at the base of your spinal column is your sexual energy right you know um just because it activates doesn't mean that you can't transmute it you can't destroy the energy right like 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 a lot of people say that um control your sexual urges to control this control that they're just offsetting it you know they're not actually they're not actually tapping into it but being okay with it and becoming one with it and actually using it there they're all sending like do push-ups do cold showers do this do that like that's not dealing with it that's like it's like putting the band-aid on how you feel you know so there's the, the coil serpent right which is the kundalini right the sexual energy the divine power that sits at, at the base of your spine that travels up into the brain right but whenever you want to have sex the that the same sacred secretion goes down and out through your penis right if you don't change it right so me I've, I've always been a proponent proponent for things like uh, uh tantra right if you're a man that um practices celibacy you got to learn tantra solo solo tantra practices right and it can be very, uh, uh, via masturbation right um or just visualization using psychic exercises uh, you don't have to necessarily touch yourself because once you have a lot of energy built up in you i can say i'm gonna say this in two different ways um, once you have a lot of energy built up in you, you can't lose your sex drive because it's, the energy is not going down no more; it's going up. But there's always this thing that high low through that through that central nervous central nervous telephone thing exchange. It's always a high low, so it goes up and come down, up down, up down. And if it's not, if it's not, when it goes down, if it's not used, it goes back up, right? So it's it's this this exchanging, right, of energy, but. Once you have that energy, you got to learn things like yogic practices like kundalini yoga, kundalini yoga or uh, tantric yoga because you got to learn to change that energy and move it throughout your body, right? Uh, or just use it to bring it up and to expand your consciousness, but also using that to create things, right? Um, and that's a practice. You got to learn that. You got to learn that like tantra. You got to learn stuff like that you gotta learn your body you gotta learn to not act on that impulse or act on that energy you know because it's it's the essence of who you are right that same sperm that your dad shot out to put into your mom that's you right your the head of the sperm is your brain you know the tail is just your nervous system it just grew it just grew into this into this existence right god or they say god father god is is um the uni father god is the universe or just the the supreme self that's god and then a woman is a woman is mother earth right or just the physical realm right you came you came out of the like that y'all say god because god is the uh progenitor of all creation right so god enters a woman and then therefore you have a physical Root to get into the world. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. It, it, it's a lot, right? I don't want to throw y'all, but yes, you got to learn tantra. You got to learn things like tantra and um, um, understanding that the energy has to be changed. It, it's not. It's not. Um. 
I'm sorry, y'all. My mind is all over the place. I so much has been going on around me. But yes, time, learn, 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 learn something called solo tantra. Solo tantra. Learn that if you if you want to um, ascend or just uh, uh, transcend um, your lower nature, right? But it's okay to have it's okay to have a lower nature as well. You gotta learn to become with it. You gotta learn you gotta learn balance too. Like you can't be in the extreme of, of masculine energy or simmer intention celibacy, right? Because you will lose your sex drive, right? That stuff that shit goes away. Like if you you can't have too much testosterone without having estrogen, right? Because if you don't have estrogen, you're gonna lose your you're gonna lose your sex drive, right? If your testosterone is too high, there's a lot to it, y'all. It's a lot. I'm sorry, it's so much information. That I will have to put in more and more videos. But yeah, I'm a little off right now, y'all. It's so much, and there's just so much craziness going on. Like people flying it through the fucking parking lot and shit. It's so much. Like these people are fucking crazy nowadays. But um, y'all, y'all have a good day, man. Um, I'm back on the ground, man. Y'all, y'all tell me what y'all want to hear, what y'all want to see. And you know, I'll, I'll work at I'll work at it my best, you know, try to get the videos out to y'all, man. But um, I wanted to cover that, right? I'm gonna go more in depth with that because there's more to it. But um, I just wanted to make something real quick, man, and uh, just give y'all some game, man. Learn to change that energy. Don't act out on that energy. And if you do, man, just keep going. Get up and keep going, man. Try to do better. Introspect. See where you went wrong at, and just try to better yourself, right? Because we all fuck up. I fuck up too. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm the perfect guy. I'm not. I'm not. You know, so um, y'all, let's get it, let's go, man. Y'all guys be out there self improving and just become better, man, right? But um, anyways, man, I'll see y'all till next time. Like my brother say, I see y'all in another light. I'm gone, man. Peace. I holler at y'all.